59% of all job applications come through job boards, and yet just one in a hundred applicants actually gets invited to an interview. That's 1% chance to just land an interview. The average corporate job opening receives roughly 250 applications and just one person will actually get that job, giving you exactly 0.4% chance to be that person. And this is why I believe that sending out job applications is a big waste of time. Hi guys, my name is Asha and I work as a sales engineer in a leading cloud software company. Before that, I worked in the roles of a software engineer, software architect, product owner, and although these are all different technical roles, the formula that I used to land these didn't change. In this video, I'm providing my exact formula on how to land a tech job in 2023. Finding a job is a job, and it doesn't consist of sending out dozens or hundreds of job applications daily. My formula is awesome LinkedIn profile plus company research plus networking equals getting the job a lot sooner. Awesome LinkedIn profile. I've only been getting jobs through networking for the last 15 years. And to do that, you have to have a really good LinkedIn profile. A great LinkedIn profile serves two purposes. One is it makes it easier for the headhunters to find you. This works a little bit like passive investing or driving a car on autopilot. The right LinkedIn profile attracts recruiters without you actively having to approach them. They just come to you. Once you set it up, you just need to periodically update it with the new skills you acquired over time or the jobs you worked on. I've landed at least three awesome jobs by just having a good LinkedIn profile over the years. Number two, the first thing that any recruiter or hiring manager will do is they will check your LinkedIn profile and having a great profile can really be a conversation starter. It's not enough to have a great static profile. The recruiters and hiring managers will also look into what kind of content you're sharing or even creating on LinkedIn and how relevant is that for the role you're applying for. For instance, if you're aiming for a software engineer job, showcase your work and your skills by talking about your code repos on LinkedIn and posting relevant blog posts that you wrote. Here's a great video from Jeff Su on how to make your LinkedIn profile shine. Company research. There's no point in sending out dozens or hundreds of applications in the hope that more is better. It's not. You don't want to get 100 jobs. You just want to get the one. But that one has to be the right one. There are so many aspects to a job besides the obvious ones that you can read from the job description. For instance, do the company values match your own values? You want your next job to be better than the last one. To understand if that's the case, you need to research the companies that you're going to be applying to. I have a video on how to do a company research on LinkedIn. You'll find the link in the description. Networking. Connect or follow people that have the same or similar job as the one that you're trying to land at a specific company. Be transparent about your reasons when asking these people to connect with you. You might end up working with them in future, so honesty is the best policy here. Ultimately, you want to identify and connect with the hiring managers who are responsible for the job opening you are interested in. The most effective way to apply for jobs is directly contacting the hiring manager. Out of all candidates who apply this way, a staggering 19% lands the job. And yet only 0.14% of people do that. By approaching the hiring manager instead of blasting out job applications all over, you'll increase your chances of actually landing a job by staggering 50 times. I don't know how much that is in percentage, you figure it out, but it's huge. How to identify the hiring manager for a job opening you're interested in? For instance, for a software engineering job, the first line manager is likely the hiring manager at the same time, and their title would be something like software engineering manager or similar. For smaller companies, it makes sense to contact the HR person as they are likely to be the one in charge of the whole recruitment process. And they are also a great source of information about the company. It's important to network in a conversational way. It's not about throwing your CVs at people. This is not yet another channel for sending out CVs and job applications. It's a different way of introducing yourself to companies and getting them interested in you. Of course, when that happens and they get interested in you, they will ask for a formal CV and that is when you send it, never before. Now that you know my formula is having a great LinkedIn profile, researching companies and networking to get in touch with the right people, how much time should be spent on each of these activities? 
Start by improving your LinkedIn profile, which is a prerequisite for successful networking. At the same time, think about the type of job you're looking for and start searching for it on the LinkedIn job board. Once you have identified the companies that are currently recruiting for these positions, start researching them. I keep a diary or a protocol of my progress and check it out at the beginning of each day. It helps me analyze my progress, potentially regroup and focus on the task at hand. Finally, when you think you've made enough progress on your LinkedIn profile and you've researched some companies, start approaching people and try to build your network. I commit my time for these activities by having blocks in my calendar. That way I know exactly when I'm doing what and that I'll be able to make progress. In this video, I talked about my approach for landing a dream job and why that formula is much more efficient than sending out dozens or hundreds of job applications. Before you go, please give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful and you might want to watch next my video called 5 Simple Hacks to Break into Tech Sales. Stay healthy and stay tuned.